Hey guys, Nick here with another Synology video for you. In one of my past videos, I created WordPress on Synology and showed you how to install it. In this video, it's gonna be a little different. We're gonna go ahead and take a domain and we're gonna map it to our Synology so that uh, we can access it from the external, um, you know, your website. So let's say I have techcoreduo.com um, and I wanna point it to my Synology. This is essentially the guide to get that going. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing you guys wanna do is of course open up Package Center and let's install WordPress. So we're gonna to go to All Packages, scroll down, Install, and we're gonna let that continue. So as you guys see here, I have Beta Packages Community. Um, these are just from other videos that I have. So I have the DSM 6.2 Beta on here, which I recommend if you wanna play around with and test, but it's not all that stable. Uh, so, um, what you guys do need installed on your Synology before you can get WordPress installed is you need um, you know, PHP 7, you need WebStation, you also need MariaDB. Uh, those will all be uh, required when you try to click install, uh, install WordPress. So, let that run when, you, when that does happen. I already have all that installed. So, to continue here, we're going to just click Next. By default, the MariaDB 10 password is uh, blank. And here we're going to go ahead and create a password for our WordPress user. So just a note that this WordPress user is for the database of MariaDB. It's not going to be for your website. All right, we're going to click apply. And now we're just going to let this install. All right, so uh, I have a domain that I'm, uh, that I'm using. It's techcoreduo.ddns.net. So this was provided by noip.com. It's, this is just for test purposes. Um, our TechCore Duo website is uh, hosted on a different server and you know I'm just testing with this one. So once you guys do have your domain name, you want to uh, point it to your external IP address, whether that be your office or your home, just make sure it's the exter external IP. Then open up your port forwarding on your router. So take uh, router 80 and point it at your Synology so that your Synology can get to the outside and, and items can point in and find that web server. All right. so. That looks like it's just finishing up. All right, main menu, WordPress. So it's gonna come up, it's going to, uh, we're gonna go through the settings, continue. Site title, Tech Core Duo. You can make it caps and all pretty if you'd like. Uh, pass, uh, username is going to be Tech Core Duo. And our password is just gonna be test, test. And this is a weak password, I'm just gonna confirm it for now. Make yours stronger. TechCore Duo Gmail, and we're gonna click Install WordPress. Okay, it's gonna ask us to log in now. So I'm gonna type in the password, TechCore Duo, and password is test, test. Click OK. Oh, let's try that again. All right, and we're good. So we're in. So one thing I did want to show you, it's going to be part of the tutorial here. If you go under settings and you see WordPress address and site address. So the WordPress address is grayed out. We want to enable this. It's going to happen at a later step in the video. Uh, we're also going to be changing our site address URL too. So let's head back to our Synology. Okay. So what we're going to do is open up our web station. Okay. We're going to go down to virtual host. We're going to create. We're going to name this our um, domain name. So mine is techcoreduo.ddns.com or .net. All right. And then um, the document root is going to be web. So when you expand that, you should have web and you should have WordPress. Um, that is created by the app itself. Select the backend server and pick 2.4 and PHP 7.0. We're going to open up File Station Manager. We're going to go to Web and then uh, click WordPress. So don't be concerned about the dead letter. It is made by WordPress once you do ins the installation. All right, so we're going to copy the HD access and index.php and we want to move this to the root of Web. Okay, 
So now I want to edit the index.php and in order to do this, we need to have um, a text editor and you can get that in the package store. I already have it installed, text editor. Uh, it's a great tool for installing a lot or for editing a lot of files. So we're going to right click, open text editor. At the very bottom line here, we're going to add WordPress. And we want to make sure we have a backslash or a, I'm sorry, forward slash in front of that. And save. We're going to close out. Now we want to change a file in the WordPress. So we're going to right click on here, properties, permissions, and I'm logged in as the admin. So I'm going to uh, create an admin user right here. So admin. Yep, there it is. So you can just select it from the drop down. I'm going to um, check this. I do change permissions, read and write. Click OK and yes and OK. So we're going to go right back in here. We're going to go to WP config. Let's check the permissions on here. We're going to go ahead and add admin again to this as well. I'm going to click on that, write and read and write there. Click yes, click OK. Great. So now we want to edit this. So we're going to double click on it to open up the text editor. We're going to scroll down to right here. It says if server host define WP site URL, we're going to delete this entire block. Okay. Then we're going to go to file and save. All right, guys. So in order for us to access our uh, domain name and have it point to our Synology on the internal network, we have to have our host file point to that uh, uh, domain name and IP address. So we're going to go to our C drive. We're going to click on Windows. We're going to go to System32. We're going to go to Drivers and etc. And there's a host file that's right on top. We're going to right click edit. So I'm going to use Notepad++. You guys can use uh, whatever you guys want. You guys have the built-in Windows editor if you'd like. And so I'm going to type in the IP address of the local Synology. And I'm going to put in the domain name. So techcoreduo.ddns.net. And I'm going to save this. Oh, so Obat Plus Plus just makes you log back in as the admin into the app. And that's it. So we close that. All right, guys. So what you want to do is, of course, refresh this page, be in general settings. We're going to add our domain name right here, techcoreduo.ddns.net. We're going to copy that. We are then going to paste it down here. We're going to remove the WordPress part there. Okay, and click save. Okay, so as you see here, techorduo.ddns.net. Hey guys, so that concludes our video. So what we did here was we took a domain name, we mapped it to our Synology NAS so that we can access our WordPress website. So we want to give a huge shout out to CommonwealthNaples.com. They helped us out, inspired us to get this video. Uh, if you guys like this video, subscribe. If you guys want to help us out and buy us some coffee, there's a link below to do that. All right, well, take care, guys.